is David Petrosky. In this video, I'll be discussing Ventura eviction cases in the post-COVID era. And for purposes of this video, post-COVID era is defined as April 2022 and beyond. I have been representing the needs of landlords since 2004. I'm a published author and a referral source for realtors, landlords, and other attorneys, and we get results. However, of course, there's no guarantee of success on any given case. First, I want to give you just a brief disclaimer that these rules surrounding evictions are in flux. They do change from time to time. This video is not meant to be and is not legal advice, and you should consult with your own legal counsel before deciding on a course of action. Okay, so as of April 2022 in Ventura County, most COVID eviction rules have expired and evictions can now move forward. It's important to note, however, that there are still some residual COVID rules, mostly relating to non-payment of rent, up through March of 2022. And you can look up another video that we've posted on this topic. You can also research AB 2179, which is a California state law. When it comes to evictions in Ventura County, there's two types of evictions generally. Those would be at-fault evictions and no-fault. I'll talk about no-fault in just a minute or two, but first I want to focus on an at-fault reason for eviction in Ventura County. And most commonly, at-fault reasons would be due to non-payment of rent. Uh, if a tenant were to violate a term of the rental agreement, if they were assigning or subleasing without permission, or if they were causing a big nuisance or damaging the property. With respect to non-payment of rent in Ventura County, this type of an eviction is when the tenant stops paying rent and therefore the landlord needs to first give the tenant a three-day notice to pay or quit and if the tenant still refuses to pay the rent within three days, then at that point you would file the eviction case in court which is known as an unlawful detainer. Now, there were special COVID rules relating to non-payment of rent prior to March 2022, but those special rules are no longer in effect as of April 2022. So it's important to understand that if you hire us to do an eviction for you uh, regarding non-payment of rent, we would only be demanding the April rent or beyond in the eviction case. It doesn't mean... The tenant doesn't owe rent prior to that time, but we would not be demanding it in the eviction case. Another common at-fault reason for eviction is when a tenant violates a term of the rental agreement, and these cases can move forward now. A common example is if the rental agreement forbids pets, but the tenant has a pet, or if the rental agreement says no smoking, but the tenant is smoking. Yet another common type of at-fault reason for evictions in Ventura is when the tenant is assigning or subleasing the property without consent of the landlord. These cases can move forward right now. If the tenant is causing a nuisance or damaging the property, and it's important to note that uh, somewhat these types of nuisance or damage to the property are subjective. Uh, what is considered a nuisance to person one might not be a nuisance to person two. Uh, so you want to have something that's big enough to constitute a nuisance in most people's eyes, and you want to have verifiable evidence of the nuisance situation, whether it's witnesses or neighbors, or if the tenant is damaging the property, you want to be able to prove that the damage is substantial enough to diminish the value of the property, and you want to be able to prove that it was the tenant that damaged the property. For example, the property wasn't already in that dilapidated condition when the tenant moved in, but it was uh, caused by the tenant's failure to maintain the property in a clean, sanitary manner, or the tenant was damaging the property uh, out of spite or, or whatnot. So we've talked about at-fault reasons for eviction in Ventura County, but what about a no-fault reason? Well, a no-fault eviction is an eviction where the tenant's not really doing anything wrong, um, so you can't do an at-fault reason, but rather the landlord wants the property back for some other reason, not the fault of the tenant. No-fault evictions can move forward now. 
subject to any local or state law. And you may want to research AB 1482. That's a state law. I also did uh, some blog articles on that and a uh, video. And you also want to check for any local laws restricting evictions. For example, uh, Oxnard City is contemplating some eviction restrictions that would uh, limit evictions. Uh, so you want to keep up to date on both state and local laws. Um, AB 1482 was passed by the California government in 2019, became effective in 2020, and it does place limits on evictions. And it also places limits on rent increases. But there are some exemptions to that state law. One of the most common exemptions is for most single family residences, but there is some notices that you are supposed to provide the tenant as well. So you'll want to be sure to discuss this with your attorney and see whether or not you meet an exemption to the AB 1482 law. So to summarize, most evictions in Ventura County can move forward right now, and we are handling Ventura County evictions right now. If you want further information, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll get updated when we, when we post new videos. We also have a landlord blog on our website, attorneydavid.com. If you wanted to talk about a potential eviction case, you can also schedule a consultation. Right now, we offer paid 15-minute or 30-minute consultations, which again, you can book directly on our website. Again, that website is attorneydavid.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter as we do post updates on evictions on a regular basis.